Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and in this video we are going to see that how we can get the IP address and the port number of our MS SQL server that is installed in our PC locally and how to use that to connect to the different applications like whether you are using it in Android Studio or connecting using a Navigate or any other softwares. So let's start the tutorial without wasting time. So before we start the video make sure you press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's start. So what first we will do is we will get our IP address that we will use to connect to our MS SQL server. So to do so open the CMD that is command prompt in your system. So just type CMD and open your command prompt. So type the command IP config. And press enter so it will give you the IP address so let me zoom for you so what we will do is we are going to use this IP address that's say IPv4 address so it's 192.168.56.1 so note it down somewhere so as now we have our IP address we now we need to search for our port number that will be used to connect to our MS SQL server using third-party applications so to get our So to get our port number what we will do is we will type mmc space comp mgmt dot msc so basically i'm opening the computer management so you can right click on your this pc icon and also can open the management computer management window so as you can see that this is our computer management window so you need to go to the service and applications over here and over there you will find the SQL Server Configuration Manager and on that. So here you will get multiple options. You will find SQL Server Network Configuration and under that you will find the protocols for SQL Server. So just click on that and it will open a three different protocols of it. So one is the shared memory name pipes and the last one is TCP IP. That is what we were looking for. So right click on it and open the properties. After going to properties, go to IP address and scroll down to the end. And here you have the TCP port. So note down this TCP port because it will be helpful to connect our SQL server to the third party applications. So this is how you find the port number. So let's close this and zoom. let me zoom out. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this software that is Navigate. So basically Navigate is the software that is used to connect to different type of database. So basically now what we are looking for is the SQL Server. So click on the SQL Server and here you get the option configure and to enter the all the credentials that need to connect to a database. So let's say our connection name is ms sql underscore local db so this connection name depends on you what you want to enter you can and now host name so the host is basically the ip address and the port number that we retrieved from our uh, just before from the command prompt and the computer management so enter that over here this is my ip address then do comma so let me zoom for you comma and the port number that we got so it's 58690 initial database will be master and here you get two different authentication modes so first is SQL server where you need to enter your SQL server username and the password that you have created to create and the second method is just the windows authentication so what it will do is it will take your windows username and password so your user account so like for my computer it's ketul patel so it will take windows authentication as ketul patel and my windows 10 password so that is the one way to do it so let us test the connection using that so as you can see that connection is successful 
and this was one of method so but now what if you want to use the serve sql server authentication by your name and password so just enter your let's say i have a sql user that is youtube and the password for it so now let's again test the connection so again it says connection successful so basically our ip address and port number is working fine to connect to sql server so as you can see that both the method work fine whether it's uh, SQL Server authentication or the win or the desktop Windows or authentication both work fine. So this is how you can retrieve the IP address and the port number of your SQL Server to connect to any of the third-party application. If you're getting any error while doing this process, just comment down below. I will make sure that I get back to you. And this was all for the video. So Press like button, subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the videos coming on the channel. Thank you for watching.